Hello friends. Welcome to the channel. Electrical Deck. In this video, we are going to learn about EMF equation of a DC generator. Before deriving the equation for a DC generator, let us check out working principle of DC generator and how EMF is induced in the DC generator. Basically, DC generator works on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. That is, when a conductor moves in a magnetic field, it cuts magnetic lines of force. This causes an EMF induced in the conductor. And the magnitude of this induced EMF depends upon the rate of change of flux linked with the conductor. Now, if the conductor is provided with a closed path, this EMF will cause a current to flow in this path. Therefore, an electromagnetically induced electromotive force will be produced by the generator. Let us check out and derive an equation for amount of EMF produced by the generator. Let us consider P is equal to number of poles of the generator. Pi is equal to amount of flux produced by each pole in Weber. N is equal to speed of armature rotating in RPM. Z is equal to total number of conductors present in the armature. And A is equal to number of parallel paths in which Z number of conductors are divided. Now, when the conductor is rotating in the magnetic field, EMF gets induced in the conductor. The amount of EMF induced in the conductor is given by E is equal to rate of change of flux. That is, d pi by dt. Now, here, in one revolution, armature cuts the total flux produced by all poles. That is, change in flux d pi is equal to total flux pi into total poles p and the time required for armature to complete one revolution is given by dt is equal to 60 by speed of armature n from the equation of emf induced in conductor that is d pi by dt we know that d pi is equal to pi into p and dt is equal to 60 by n. Therefore, by substituting the values, we get EMF induced per conductor. E is equal to pi pn by 60. Now, we know the equation for EMF induced per conductor. That is, EMF induced in only one conductor. And we know that there are total Z number of conductors in the armature. But, in a DC generator, the conductors in one parallel path are always in series. If there are total Z conductors and A parallel paths, then Z by A number of conductors are always in series. Therefore, the total EMF induced in a DC generator is given by pi p n z by 60 into a. Here, we take a is equal to p that is total number of poles for lap winding and a is equal to 2 for wave winding of a armature. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. And don't forget to subscribe us for more electrical stuff.